we're getting a puppy. These are all from I'm not nervous. This is my first puppy. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been a minute and I have so much to update you guys on, but today is gonna be a very exciting day because Christian and I were getting a puppy. I cannot tell you how excited we are to get this little guy today and finally get a dog because we've been talking about getting a dog for the longest time and now we're finally doing it. So we're super excited. We've already bought every little thing that he possibly could need plus more. So he's definitely gonna be a very spoiled dog, but yeah, we are gonna go pick him up here around three o'clock today. And he is about like a little bit over an hour away from us. So we're gonna try to leave as early as we possibly can. Today is a Friday. So pick him up, bring him back home play with him and yeah he's gonna be he's actually eight weeks today so we're super excited and i cannot tell you like i literally have been waiting for this moment for the longest time so i'm super excited and um i literally cannot wait to meet him we have not met him yet we've only seen pictures and i'll try to place them somewhere here but he is just the cutest little shiba inu so yeah he's a shiba inu dog and so he's the perfect size for us um he's gonna grow up to be maybe no more than 30 pounds so that's like the perfect medium-sized dog for christian and i and we've been wanting to get a shiba inu for ever since we started dating pretty much i have always in my heart wanted a shiba inu i just think they're the cutest dogs ever they look like little foxes and they're so beautiful stunning and fierce looking and i just am so excited so anyways i am making lunch right now but let me just show you guys super quick just my little setup and what i got him so far so do not mind this little cracker barrel bag that we're putting his stuff in but it's fine um we're gonna put all his little things in here we already have his little leash and his collar over here ready to go. Bag that says Hachi. Oops, I definitely need to blur out the phone numbers, but this cute little tip. This is from, I believe, PetSmart, and we thought this was so cute. It has a little leather, sh leather strap here and little gold detailing. And then we got this red leash. This is, what is it? Poopy bag thing where you can uh, put it on your keychain if you wanted to. So we're gonna bring that. And then, so guys, this is gonna be his little room for for a while. Um, obviously, he's gonna a little puppy, so he's probably gonna stay in our room for days until he gets situated. And then we are going to be kennel training him. So that's his little kennel. I mean, he is still very very small, so he will probably outgrow this within a couple of months. You guys may notice here that this is actually supposed to be a cat kennel but everywhere that we went to sold out on these small slash extra small dog kennels so we talked we talked to one of the workers there and they told us that um a cat kennel will work just fine the only difference is that at the top they have this little door here where you can open it and put the cat in so that's like the main difference between a dog's kennel and a cat kennel but other than that everything else is pretty much the same and so yeah i didn't mind that at all but anyways this is his little kennel we got him a cute little bed and then also he is already so spoiled he has a basket full of toys already i'm sure it's a little food trays for now we'll upgrade once he gets bigger and then we decided to test out taste of the wild brand for him this is more of a medium to high level brand food it has no grain in it and the ingredients are really great so hopefully he likes this um we are going to take a little bit of food with us and just kind of feed him a little bit of kebbles here and there just to see if he'll like it and get him acquainted to this uh, brand and then we got a food scoop we got another yeah retractable leash so this will probably come in handy later and then we also got him this shampoo and conditioner two in one and then i obviously went overboard and decorated 
his little area. These are all from Hobby Lobby. All right, guys, so it is 12.30. I need to finish up with my lunch and then um, this work day is gonna go by super fast because at three, we're gonna be picking him up. So with that being said, I'll catch up with you guys when, whenever, whenever we're on our way to open up. I'm a little bit nervous because this is my first puppy, but uh, I feel like we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. AKA, I'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> we made it. We are literally four minutes away from Hachi. So close. I'm a little bit nervous. Oh my god. take breaks and stuff, you can go play with your dog. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Look at him, he's so cute. <laughs> Oh man. Oh my goodness. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh my gosh, you're so pretty. Hi. It's okay. Come here, babe. Come here. Come here, buddy. Come here. Uh-oh, where are you going? Oh, he wants to go. He wants to go back. Come here. Come here, baby. Come here. Come here, Brad. Come here. Come here, buddy. Oh, you're peeing? I think so. Come here. It's okay. Come on. Oh, he wants to go back. So here's Hachi. We're on our way back home. We finally got the little guy, and he is the cutest little furry little thing I've ever seen in my life. He's very curious. And, um,. Yeah, we're so excited about you, little guy. You have, oh gosh. Hachi is finally home. He is the tiniest little fluffiest fluff I've ever met, but he's still very nervous and curious. He's trying to get used to this whole world and Christian and I, so we're slowly trying to introduce him to his new home. Come here, Hachi. Say hi. Say hi. Hachi! Hello! Hi, Hachi! Hi! You're so cute! Hi, buddy! sleepy right now he definitely has been extending a lot of energy and he has been exposed to so much and so many new things just within the short amount of hours so I'm just letting him take a little nap because he was literally standing up and he was dozing off for a few minutes so um, he definitely needs a little bit of a nap but I'm gonna try to get him up a little bit before we go to sleep so that he can try to sleep throughout the night a little bit better um earlier whenever we had put him in, in his crate um for the first time he was like screaming barking he did not like it at all at all but i felt kind of bad because whenever we did take him out i mean we were in there for maybe not even two, two minutes but he made an accident in his Great. he actually peed in himself so he did like the Shiba scream or yell and so you know I waited for him to calm down for a second and then I took him out but I noticed that he had peed in his crate so I felt really bad um so I didn't know if he actually needed to go um that's why he was barking or he was just freaking out and he peed I don't really know but right now he is as you can see getting very used to his 
crate, so that's very good. I'm trying to make him know that it's safe. It's a safe spot. It's a spot where he can go to sleep and to rest. And um, I've been taking the crate literally everywhere that we're going and playing around the crate with him so he knows that um, it's not a scary place to be. So right now, he's been doing really good. Um, this is probably the second or third time after the first time and he's he hasn't really had a huge um issue like the first time so earlier like i think yeah earlier he was in there he took a little nap as well maybe for like maybe 10 minutes and then he was whimpering again i did the same thing i just waited for him to down and then once he calmed down i picked him up and i took him right outside because i felt like he needed to go to the bathroom and he actually did, he peed right away. So I think these are really great small wins. And I'm really excited because I feel like even though this is the first day, first night for him, he's doing so great. And he's been following me around the whole house. I was like playing chase with him earlier. We were running laps around the kitchen together and in the living room and he was following me like literally every single step of the way. So I really like that. I feel like he's really responding to his name, Hachi. Um, I'm sure you guys noticed that whenever you we, we first met Hachi, uh, we called him Brad because that's what they called him. So I wanted to just say Brad for the first meeting. But right after that, um, that was like the last time I used his name Brad and I started calling him Hachi and he's been responding very well to his name so and he's been coming to me whenever i say come here Hachi. so he's been really really great and we already love him so much like i i i'm so happy to have him i know it's not gonna be easy for the next couple of months or weeks i don't know how long but i'm going to celebrate every single little win and he's doing so great so far and he's so fluffy and so cute so yeah i will let you guys know how tonight goes in the morning and hopefully hopefully he does well which i have i have a feeling that um he may cry throughout the middle of the night because he needs to go because he's still very very small he's only eight weeks like i mentioned so his bladder can only hold so much for so long but that's expected so Anyways, um, I'm watching you right now on Netflix with my husband. Um, Christian's actually on the phone with his friend right now talking about Hachi. So I paused the movie for a little bit, but we are season three, which is the new season that just came out. We're on episode nine right now, and I don't really know how I feel about... I mean, honestly, season three has been not that great, in my opinion. I feel like there's so much going on, and... It's not the same as the first and second season, in my opinion, but I'm still going to watch it. It's still a good watch. It's just not as great as the other seasons, in my opinion. So, anyways, I will talk to you guys tomorrow.
Hachi is still getting used to his leash. He's getting better today, but yesterday he did not want it at all. He was not having it. So today he's actually walking with it a little bit and um, still pulling a little bit here and there, but a lot better than how he was yesterday. So little wins for the day. Hi, buddy. Come here, Hachi. Come here. Oh, good boy. Good boy. <laughs> those clips that you have seen were the first couple of days that we've had him and looking back on these video clips and editing them it's crazy to see how much he has grown so far and progressed it's insane there's a part of me that's like please stop growing so fast but I it just melts my heart because I can't believe that it's only been two weeks and he has he's so smart guys like he already knows how to respond to his name can play fetch with me he knows how to give me his paw paw he sits very well and um, for the most part he has not had many accidents inside the house at all so with all of that being said i am just super happy Chris and i love him so so much and he literally follows me around everywhere in the house um i can already tell that like the bond that he has with me and also Christian too but I would say a little bit more with me because I am with him like 24 7 because I work from home right now so anyways he is so attached to me and I absolutely love it so much like it's so great to have a little companion at home especially since I'm working from home and I feel like I mean, he just brings me so much joy and I'm sure if you're a dog owner you know exactly what I mean so I am very very happy um, with Hachi and I can't believe that it's it's only been two weeks since we've had him because like I said he has grown so much already like we bought him a harness and I had to adjust it yesterday because he was already it was already getting too tight on him which is crazy and his ears are now fully propped up which is really so when we first got him, um, his ears, they weren't fully up just yet. I think one kind of was, but anyways, he is very much loved and I can't wait to continue to document his growth and his progress with you guys. Um, the only thing that I'm working on with him right now would have to be his biting because he is a growing little puppy. Puppies like to explore with their mouths. He likes socks a lot, so there's been many times where he would steal our socks and run away with them. Shoes as well, and I am really trying to nip that in the bud as quickly as I possibly can, but I do know that it will take some time and lots of re repetition. So, working on that, but other than that, he's been doing so great, and um, yeah, if you guys like this vlog, please give it a like and if you want to subscribe please do because i am trying to um, grow this platform anyways i will talk to you guys later bye